The Cayman Islands is an international financial hub and adhering to AML regulations and obligations is crucial for maintaining our integrity and our reputation as a global financial centre. The key legislation governing the AML framework in the Cayman Islands is the Proceeds of Crime Act, backed up by the anti-money laundering regulations. These laws ensure that all financial services providers, including investment funds, implement a risk-based approach to combat money laundering, terrorist financing and proliferation financing. AML compliance in the Cayman Islands is not just about adhering to local regulations. It also involves aligning with international sanctions and global best practices. This global perspective is essential for investment funds operating in the Cayman Islands due to their global nature. The operators of an investment fund must put in place a compliance framework to allow that fund to comply with the AML obligations. Key aspects of the AML regulations require the fund and its operators to put in place a compliance programme. The primary part of that compliance programme must be the appointment of appropriately qualified and experienced money laundering reporting officer, deputy money laundering reporting officer and an anti-money laundering compliance officer. Those roles must be fulfilled by individuals. Funds have two primary functions when it comes to complying with AML regulations. The first is with regard to doing investor due diligence in KYC or know your customer checks on all investors and their beneficial owners. That function is typically delegated to a fund's fund administrator or another third party service provider who has experience in providing those services to Cayman Islands funds. Harneys can do that for certain types of fund. Secondly, as part of its day-to-day -day operations, a fund must ensure that it reduces its exposure to money laundering and terrorist financing risk. Typically, that function is delegated to the fund's investment manager. However, any third party could do this. As part of the regular operator meetings that should be held, reports should be requested from any service provider to whom a function is outsourced, for example, the fund administrator and investor KYC, or to the fund investment manager in relation to transactional AML, and a report must be requested from the money laundering reporting officer and the AMLCO.